New at five, raccoons are dying in droves in people's yards and pools. And the culprit could be poison. This is all happening in the Milk District in Orlando. And that is where Fox 35's Caroline Coles is live tonight. So Caroline, people are now scared that their pets could also be in danger. Yeah, that's right. They're scared mainly because wildlife trappers are saying poison can hurt all sorts of animals and not just raccoons and rats, which is why they're urging people to stop putting out poison traps. There was a dead raccoon. It's a sight and smell that's becoming a huge annoyance to neighbors along Washington Street in Orlando. He was dead by my rain barrels. Neighbors claim dead raccoons are popping up in their yards daily. This is one of four dead raccoons that was found in a backyard pool this week. Bob Bataluco lives right next door to this and says he too spotted a dead one just a couple days ago in his own backyard. And they tell me raccoons visit this area frequently. I'm familiar with his mom, and I'd seen them before they visit me, you know, in the middle of the night. That's when raccoons are in your yard. Which is why they believe someone is using poison to kill them. Then yesterday, my neighbor tells me she's had four dead raccoons in her backyard. So we put two and two together, and, you know, the, there's, again, no trauma, no blood or anything. They just, um, they were poisoned. We spoke to a trapper about these mysterious deaths. He says these deaths appear to be consistent with poisoning. One neighbor telling Fox 35 she called critter control to remove the dead raccoons from her pool. But animal trapper Bob Cross says that's what people should be doing to begin with. It's against the law to leave poison out to kill raccoons or any animals. Uh, if you leave poison out to kill raccoons, you're going to kill cats, dogs, possums, any other animals that come along. And that's exactly what Bob says he's concerned about. That's not only bad for the wildlife, what if some other animal, like we have feral cats in our neighborhood, went and ate this poisoned food? Now, we did reach out to Orange County Animal Services to see if they have been called out here yet. We are still waiting on a response. Meanwhile, neighbors in this community tell me they have reached out to FWC to file complaints about people who are leaving the poison out here for the animals. Meantime, neighbors are also going to be putting out signs warning their other neighbors that leaving poison is illegal. Reporting live here in Orlando, I'm Caroline Coles of Fox 35 News. Caroline